Hello, and welcome to another episode of the tutorial series on the Advanced VR Framework 2.0. I am Ansgar, and in this episode, I will be covering the object dropper. So, let's get right in. The object dropper is a palette which allows us to spawn and place actors in our world. To get the object dropper up and running, you require several elements. So, first of all, all objects in the object dropper are categorized. So we have to get uh, we have to create our categories as gameplay tags. Then in the info UI you can specify a list of categories and a list of actors that we want to have in our object dropper. And lastly, we have to define display information like textures and names about our categories and our actors. This we do in the info data file. Now, when everything is properly filled out, uh, we have a fully functional object dropper. That could look something like this. Here we have our top level categories, and if I press on them, it takes us to uh, all the actors that we want to have. Now, I can press on these buttons and spawn actors to my liking. I even have a button to go down and uh, uh, to, to scroll down further in the list and I can spawn other buttons and these buttons as you can see are also work with the attachment so they, they also snap the, the way I want it to for example with this picture I can place it on the wall and uh, as they are fully functional actors I can even use the selection menu to um, configure this um, this picture as I wanted to and I can even delete it through the selection menu. Okay, so um, by the way, devices and bookmark palettes are very similar, with the exception that they don't require any categorization. So let me sp quickly spawn a devices panel. And here you see it's a very similar setup. And here I can even spawn myself a drawing tool and just continue drawing. So basically, all of these actors uh, work the same. So this is all you need to know about the object dropper. And let's switch up in the editor and set up the, pro uh, the object dropper for your project. To see how the object dropper works, I chose to be in the demo UI map. Here, we already have a fully functional object dropper in place. And I can open it and I can spawn objects here. And uh, to show you how to uh, work with the object dropper, uh, it's probably best if we create a new actor from scratch and add it to the object drop ourselves. So let's do that. So to add a new actor, I'm just simply creating an actor from scratch so we can see uh, that it works with any actor. So for that, I'm going to create one in the experience folder or wherever you want uh, your actor to be. I'm going to call that tutorial actor. And uh, for the tutorial actor, I'm going to add a cube. And the cube, I'm going to make the, scene, uh, uh, the, the root component. And I have to add a, a grab component. This is very important because all actors that uh, should be pulled out of the object dropper need to be able to be grabbed. Basically, the, the basic settings are fine, but most other settings also work fine. And uh, from there, the next thing that we want to be doing is create a gameplay tag. So the gameplay tags, um, just to explain that a bit further, are our way to be categorizing these things. The gameplay tags you can find in the project settings gameplay tags. And in here, um, we have imported quite a lot of categories for ourselves. And these uh, imports were made uh, through the gameplay tag uh, table list and here we also find uh, our game, uh, data table gameplay tax category object so this is uh, the one that is going to be uh, responsible for our categorization for our object um, so basically the unreal offers the option to be creating gameplay tags through data tables and that's, that's exactly what we are doing so let's get our, in our data table and see how we can add our category there. In here, the theme is uh, quite simple. This is 
um, a simple data table. And if we want to create our new um, our new element, we just press plus, and we say that this is, for example, our um, as our cube category, and in here we have to use following um, hierarchy, which is category dot let's call it tutorial for a top level category and let's call it cube for a subcategory. All categories have to have two levels. So if, for example, if you want to have doors, then we would call them construction door. If you want to have furniture like stools or sofas, or for example, we would call the, uh, we have the top category furniture and the subcategory sofa and so on. So there always has to be a two level uh, category hierarchy. Uh, for the object shopper to work properly. So we can close that. And now in the project settings, we should see that we have our tutorial category, our top level category, and our sub category here. So that's our category working perfectly. So with the categories and the data tables properly set up, let's edit our data file. So for that, let's go in the experience, demo space, info, data. And uh, here we will be editing the info data demo default. But remember, for every level setup, you have different data files responsible. So if you're unsure on how, uh, which, uh, uh, which info files are you, you set up, then please refer to the level management episode where the setup of the info files is properly explained. Here we will be editing the info data demo default. So here in the in the data file we see that we have our top uh, top level categories and we have our actor infos. We see that we already have a lot of actors in place and uh, categories in place. These are basically the ones that you already saw in the object shopper. So let us add, uh, add a new category, and for that we add the category that we just selected so this is found in categories and we added the tutorial category remember this is a top level category not the subcategory cube and here we can also add a picture i'm just going to add for example um, this picture so we can recognize it easily And then under actors, we do basically the same. So we add a new actor. It's all the way down here. And here we add our tutorial actor that we created just recently. And if we open that up, we see that we have a key, a category, and an image that we can add. So let's simply call that the tutorial cube. Um, the category was category tutorial cube. And the image, let's take this Android icon. Perfect. So now we can close that and the info data file is properly set up. Lastly, we have to set the info UI file. So for that, we have our info demo UI. Again, refer to the level management episode if you're unsure on how to set the info files up properly. In here, we have a list of all the actors that we want to have listed in the object dropper. So we add our new one that we want to have. And this was the tutorial actor. And additionally, we also have to set our categories that we want to have listed. So there was a category tutorial. Okay, and that should be all to set up the, uh, the object dropper. Let's see if that actually works. So now let's check out whether the object dropper basically works. So if we hit play, you can see that we have our new category here that we just defined. And if we press on that, we have basically just one item with uh, the subcategory cube. And if we press on that, 
we can spawn ourselves new cubes, same as we would expect. So that is basically all on the object proper. And uh, again, there are two uh, similar palettes, which basically works the same as in the object proper. This is uh, one's um, uh, devices palette and the bookmark palette. And similarly to how to add objects to the object dropper, you can also add bookmarks to the bookmark dropper and devices to the device dropper. So this works exactly the same as the object dropper, so I wouldn't need to explain it any further. So this is everything that we uh, that I wanted to be talking about in this episode. I hope you can use the object proper in your projects and thank you for listening.